first of all, my dinner is cooking. I'll explain to you what my next project is going to be. It's basically a steady cam. Now I've been wanting a steady cam for quite a while, and I was thinking, well, normally I just use a tripod, so like the one I just bumped into. Um, but what I was thinking is getting a monopod and adding some weights down the bottom. But it's it's okay in a in a when you're in a jam and you need something quick, but it's not that good. So I thought, well, I can make a gimbal. Basically, get three rings, the inner ring, middle ring, and outer ring, and build the screws accordingly. The outer ring has two screws going in to the middle. The middle has two screws going in to the inner ring. And that works as a gimbal for your, um, your steady cam and a handle on the outside and so I thought well I can make that I know I can, um, I know where I can get all the materials um, but I thought nah screw that I'll try something else so I came up with this idea um, I have seen other people on the internet make uh, steady cams for as cheap as $12 American um, unfortunately I didn't want to do that um, I could copy it exactly, but it just would not be the sort of steady cam that I want. Hold on a second. up with using ideas from other people mainly the frame I got this this is one of those hooks that you mount on your wall in your workshop or your, your carport or your garage mount that into the wall and you can hang stuff off it like uh, mountain bikes kayaks your skis that sort of stuff but there's another guy on the internet who's used it to make a steady cam, and I borrowed that idea. That's going to be the steady cam. It came with some foam, which I've taken off. I can use that later on. The general idea is I needed and I found a um, tripod with a ball head. I've wondered one of these for a while, so I thought, you know, I might as well kill two birds with one stone and get it. Got this of eBay, pretty cheap. I think I saved like $40 by buying it on eBay rather than retail. Retail, though, around about $100. Now, this came attached to the tripod. Now, this was a cheap tripod, and I thought it would be really cheap but it turned out to be a lot better quality than I imagined. It's Inca model I-531. Now, 
what I've done. I've got this tripod and I thought, oh yeah, yeah, it's not good, uh, sorry, not bad. The legs can extend to horizontal, even up. Obviously you've got the quick release for the legs. It's got a small um, spare level here, but I've actually found that uh, it hasn't been seated properly, so it's not zeroed. When these three legs are down and fully set up properly, that does not go down to the, it's not zeroed properly, basically. It's, it's cheap. It's been pushed in, but it's been pushed in on an angle. The head, um, down here, I'll show you this screw here, and I was wondering what that for was for. And I think you can actually you can mount cameras upside down. Um, and the other thing you can do, push these two buttons in, and that pops off. I'm thinking, well, what good is that? So. Uh, yeah, it doesn't go anywhere else. Okay, so maybe you can hold it. But when I started to pull it apart, I undid the top. So that's got a generic screw in locking mechanism. But because that bottom bit has now come off, I can unscrew that, slide that up. So I was looking, hmm, that's a little too large for a camera, but that may also be a little too large. And I was checking it with the, the socket, and yes it is, these are too large for your standard camera mount. So I thought, well, what's the idea there? Okay, and then I realized, I should take this, screw that into the base, and take that, and mount that on there. So now you've got basically a monopod. And I'm sure you could probably add a little rubber nib on that so that the screw doesn't get damaged. So you've got a monopod, but, okay, hang on a second. You can do that anyway, because Once this has been pulled out, this would normally be screwed onto it anyway, because that sits in there. So, I don't know, it's, a, it's an optional extra, and I'm not exactly 100% sure what it's for. But, it has actually come in handy, because if I put this away, What I actually want to do, take that off, don't need that, that goes in the base, so I can extend the grip if I just wanted to hold it like that. But the thing is, I don't actually need this for anything, but it's a good little optional extra. This is going to be mounted onto the steady cam as the handle. Now I've got a couple of these. They are sanding um thingy jiggies, uh, hand sanders. You unscrew that, get your sandpaper, tuck it in, tighten it down, put sandpaper down here. So when you're sanding, you know you don't wreck your hands. Solid molded plastic and I was thinking well that make a good handle. So I bought two because I'm going to hacksaw the handle off. And then the handle by itself, here I've removed the, the rubber underneath the foam. It's going to be cleaned up. That handle is going to be mounted onto that. And then that is going to 
be mounted onto the horizontal piece but I need two horizontal pieces the handle gets mounted onto the ball head of the tripod I'm going to make a secondary piece the locking piece I'm going to make a copy of this by using the, um, the plastic from them I'm going to cut that out and stack it up so it's nice and thick shape it to basically make a copy of that the reason why is I'm going to drill a hole through that where the screw is it's going to be raised a little bit it's basically going to be flat like this so sort of like a T shape and it's going to have that flat bit and that T-shape is going to be screwed onto the second plate, which will be this one, on top. And there you're going to have the camera mount. That's going to be held on with these, as you can see from underneath. And then that whole unit is going to be mounted onto there. So that will be sitting pretty much like that and you'll have the handle coming down underneath so that will be the steady cam with the camera sitting on top just uh, one thing before I go which I forgot is the counterweight as you're going to have the camera and all the gear up here and the handle up here you need a counterweight so all that stuff is going to be here counterweight is these I can buy a few more of these, they only cost a few cents each but they are basically they are um, they're square washers they're quite heavy they're six of them. and what's going to happen is there's going to be a hole drilled through there that's going to be mounted in like that with a screw down the bottom so that it stays fast and then according to how big the camera is I can oh, this is fiddly to do I can add the weight according to how heavy the camera up here is and then once the weight's on there and it's equally balanced Put the screw down there so it's nice and snug, doesn't move around, and that helps to counterbalance the weight up top. So that's just one little thing I forgot to mention. Alright, that's it for now guys. Cheerio bye for now.